What's up? What's going on, everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day. We've been talking about base a lot. You know, I sure shared with you guys prior to some some gems that we are on base that you know we went over. I want to share with you guys a, a couple more gems that are on base. A couple that I think are very underutilized projects, and I, one which I think is a very underutilized project, and a couple which I think are, are are some good memes that are really going to take off as this bull market starts to roll out and base starts to really really start to get more and more users over there, especially with the on-chain summer coming. I think that there's a lot going on on base. And I think that these tokens right here have a good opportunity to really, really make some noise over there. So without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's get right into it. Let's get right after it, guys. But first and foremost, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that share button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. If you guys like what you hear, if you guys like, like the ba base chain, we cover it um, a lot on this channel. We live stream. Uh, we cover tokens. Uh, we do some a little bit of TA and um, definitely, definitely bring you content like this. Also, there's some links in the description um, below if you guys want to check out them links as well. Um, one is actually a launch pad on base, the number one launch pad on base, actually ape.store. And the other, and there's another one down there for Marjax. If you guys like leverage trading, go ahead and click on that, man. Definitely, definitely a great place to leverage trade. And you can, um, uh, it's very user friendly, no KYC, guys. So definitely Marjax um, link down there is uh, something I use on the daily. We'll go ahead, let's go ahead, let's get right in, let's get right after this thing. Um, the first one we're going to look at is DGEN. And why are we going to look at DGEN? DGEN's uh, layer three blockchain over there on base. As base's volume continues to pick up, it's going to need these layer threes. It's going to, you know, to take some of the pressure off of that uh, blockchain as well. And also with the NFT launches and bigger, bigger launches like that, you're going to need these layer threes really to start to move some of them, uh, some of them projects along. And why DGEN? Well, DGEN was probably one of the first layer threes that launched on base, and it is the most popular one, right? And they've already started to launch their own tokens over there on their layer three. They've already started to do a lot of good things. I think that this is my undervalued crypto on base, guys. And I'll tell you why. When DGEN launched, you've seen it, and we're on the all chart here. It traded sideways for a little while. It took this major run up when the blockchain really started to move up here to about uh five cents right and currently it's sitting at two zeros five right two zeros five eight it's about a 10x off of where where it launched where its high is right so when you look at this i think that one this is a great price point because it's about 10x off of its all-time high but two i think that this thing is going to get much 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 more adoption this isn't because because this isn't a blockchain that's being built. This isn't something that's being promised. This is something that's actually out running and moving. And I think that that says a lot. So when you look at it um, right now, it's, um, you know, DGEN is currently sitting at um, $72 million, right? $72.8 million um, right now, which is a, a very low market cap for where I think it should be. Um, and right now in 24 hour trading volume, it's only doing $14.3 million. This is a little bit lower than what we would like to see with a project at $72.8 million, million. But I think that this is why you're getting at a bargain at this price. I think as that trading volume starts to kick up, um, token, the more and more tokens start to launch, they start to move more NFT projects through the blockchain, through their layer three, things like that. I think you're going to see the volume increase which ultimately will increase the price. So I definitely think that this is um, one of the probably the biggest deals on base right now, uh, this layer three um, in DGEN. The other one I think um, is going to do fairly well on, a, on the base chain is Moby. It's a meme coin. Uh, it's a meme coin named Moby. It's definitely a low market cap play, guys. It's been out for about two weeks. And one thing that interests me, really, really, um, I, I get interested about this play is it's been out for two weeks. And look, at, it's been holding on relatively tight in this market, in this in this market that was getting crushed for a couple of days. You can see it's had its typical launch, right? It launched. It, it had its run up at launch for a couple of days. 
And then actually people were taking their profits here, much like any other launch. Nothing, you know, nothing really special about the launch. You know, had it run up, run up and dip. Right. But it's actually been um, forming this nice, 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 flow, nice, nice uh, consolidation period here. Um, sitting at one point zero seven million is still relatively low. And when you look at it, uh, there's so there's a lot of room to the upside. It's got one hundred and uh, five, a hundred. Uh, uh, right around, right around 100, 101 holders, somewhere up in there. But it does a 20, 24 hour trading volume of right around 9K. Now, we would like to see that volume come up, but oh, you know, this is Sunday, so volume was down. If you look at the volume over history, it does much more than that. But we'd like to see that volume get a, to be a little bit higher here, and I think it will. And, um, you know, you just go ahead and you look at the uh, the actual chart here and you you look at it and and you can see that there's been a ton of uh of movement over here on moby right um you're looking at 470k in liquidity as well liquidity's locked this contract did not come off of a launch pad they built it themselves which is another thing that you have to look into too make sure you're running that through token sniffer make sure you're running that through your bots and things like that i did it was fine with me um may not be fine with you though right so make sure you're uh, make sure you're doing that. But definitely, um, definitely like what I'm seeing over here at Mobi. Love the community. Communities raiding. Communities out here. Dev team seems to be strong, and I think them are the the a couple things. Them are the most important things that you gotta have in a uh, meme project. So I think Mobi definitely, definitely is a sleeping sleeper over here on base. Could be a sleeper over here on base. Then of course we have Daddy, right? Um, Rodney, the Crypto Journeys token. We've covered this on the channel um, quite a few times, either via live stream or a couple of the base videos that I put out. But why, why am I? Why are we revisiting this now? Why, why is this coming back up as one of the hot tokens? Well, guess what, guys? Rodney has worked his way up and done a tremendous job with his YouTube career and has um, really taken, taken him, taken off, right? And um, he's actually going to be working with Coinbase for on-chain summer, right? And because he's working with Coinbase for on-chain summer, you know that daddy, the daddy token is going to get a little bit more publicity, a little bit more out there with the base community than, than it was before, right? So when you look at that and you look at the, the, the popularity that Rodney already has, and then you top that off with him be also being involved with the base chain for on-chain summer, you know, you, you have to look at this token and this project as possibly being one of the ones that really could make some noise over here on the base chain, you know, this summer and, and, and moving forward. Sitting at about a dollar fifty eight right now, which is an absolute tremendous buy. Um, you know, you, you come up here, this thing is seven, this thing was seven or eight dollars at one point. I hold it. I I have not sold any, I've hold it, but I, you know, just because Rodney is my guy and you know, I'm, it's it's there for the support, right? But you know, the support or non-support, what you got to look at is you got to look at the fact that he is working with Coinbase for on, on-chain summer. And, you know, this the, the token's going to get some publicity there, right? And you look at about, you look at right where it is right now at fifty. you can draw the line straight across here, guys. And this dollar fifty line has been something that's held up pretty well, even through some of the nastiest times in the market. It's only dropped below it for a couple of days here. Um, and that was some real nasty time in the market. But, you know, it's really held up through this dollar fifty level here pretty good, which means, you know, could be a great entry point for people as well. You look at it sitting at one point five, eight million dollar market cap, definitely a low market cap, guys. One point five, eight million is is very is a very, very low market cap sitting at one hundred and seven hundred and sixty seven um, point eighty two K in liquidity. It, that's a good market cap to liquidity ratio. It's a. You know that's kind of where you want to see things uh makes doesn't make the chart act like a stable coin but yet it allows the chart to move a little bit too but it also allows for um, not a lot of price impact as well so you know good level there um so uh, you know rodney's doing a good job of taking care of that um you're looking at 1.8k holders got a ton of holders in here 108k when you when you got a 1.5 million dollar market cap and you have 108k holders that's a good amount of holders for your market cap so you know definitely has done well there and you look at a, a 24 hour trading volume right around 15.25k 
And remember, this is a Sunday. So trading volume is always usually down on a Sunday afternoon like it is right now. So, you know, not too bad, you know. So Daddy Token definitely has a big upside this summer um, with 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 the partnerships that Rodney's making with Coinbase and in everything that he's already doing with the token and, and the people that he knows in the space. I think Daddy could actually end up being a really big player in this game um, over here on base. And it's crazy that this token started out as a promotional video to show you how to create a token on a launch pad and has turned into a absolute project. And Rodney has done a great job with that. So much, much respect to him. So well, with that guys, there are some, there are a couple of gems that I, that I can see over here on base. Then I um, always like to keep you guys up to date what's going on in base and some gems that I'm looking at, some gems that I'm in, some gems that I'm seeing on the base chain because base chain is that up and coming chain, guys. It is that next chain. It's that next move forward. And I think that with the regulation getting ready to start to come out, Coinbase is in prime position to uh, to really meet them regulations and make people feel um, secure trading on their layer two blockchain that, you know, one, they're a publicly traded company and two, that they're um, they're going to do what they what they can to make things right. I mean, this is a decentralized world. Right. So decentralization is decentralization. Um, but, yo, uh, we'll we'll keep covering base. We'll keep, um, you know, bringing you guys some little gems here and there that we're finding out there. So with that, you guys go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button as well. Get us up in the old algorithm and uh, make sure you check out some of the links down there in the script description um, and, you know, help yourself out with some platforms and uh, also help the channel out as well. So with that, really appreciate you guys. Have a great day and we will get back at you guys with the next one.